guys, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're continuing to build up our understanding of heredity in order to complete uh, the type of Punnett square problems that we see on the GED. Okay, so we're four questions in this. This is the fourth video in a series. If you haven't seen the other three, you're going to be a little lost. I suggest you go back and watch them. Uh, but let's check this guy out. It says the Punnett square shows the possible offspring for two heterozygous solid red tulip plants. What is the probability that the offspring will have a genotype, capital S, little s? So we have some language going on here. Uh, it says the Punnett square. What is the Punnett square? It's this thing down here. Scientists use Punnett square to see how likely it is that parents, so here we have two parent organisms, uh, pass certain traits on to their offspring. So here we have four possible offspring of these parents. Those are the four possibilities of what would happen with their genes. Okay, now... Uh, we learned this language, this uh, word heterozygous in the last couple of videos. Heterozygous means that your gene codes for two different things. Uh, so in this case, w one gene, um, the capital S, would code for uh, having producing a solid red tulip plant, and the other gene. Or other allele, I should say, gene half. It's a half of a gene, an allele, uh, would code for striped. So if, you know, all your genes have halves, known as alleles, and those two halves don't code for the same thing, you know, what's going to happen? That's really the question here. So um, you explore that with a Punnett square. So if you take a look here, we have a heterozygous red tulip plant. What do I mean by heterozygous? Well, he's got two different alleles in this gene. One's a capital S and one's a lowercase s. Same thing with this guy, also heterozygous, capital S and a lowercase s. They're hetero, they're different uh, alleles. Okay, now, you know, when these two plants reproduce, uh, what would happen? Each parent would give up a gene half, an allele, and those two gene halves, those two alleles, would come together to form the new gene for the offspring. So what are the possibilities here? It's possible that they each give a big S and they end up with a tulip that has a genotype of capital S, capital S. Or, you know, this parent could give a little one and this one could give a big one and then the tulip could end up with a genotype of big S, little s. So the genotypes here are not the picture of the plant. The genotypes are this little symbolic um, allele pair that we use to represent a gene, okay? So what is the probability that the offspring will have a genotype big S, little s? Well, let's see how many of these offspring, and remember the offspring are in the box, have a big S, little s. Well, that one does, big S, little s, and that one does, big S, little s. So two out of how many? Well, one, two, three, four total offspring. Two out of four. Now, lots of you guys can do percents in your heads. I certainly hope you can. I hope you know that two out of four is the same as half or 50%. But some of us are struggling so much on the GED with just understanding the questions. We're like, really, Kate? I also have to know percents. Well, you can easily figure out how much of a percent this is in your calculator by typing in the fraction 2 over 4 and using the convert to percent button. So this is what I did. I typed n over d. That's a fraction button to put a 2 on the top, a 4 on the bottom. And then now I'm going to use the convert to percent button. So the convert to percent button looks like this. But what you're going to notice is that's in green over the closed parentheses. So if I want anything in green, I have to press second first. So I'm going to press second and then close parentheses. And I press enter and it does spit out for me that that is 50%. So even if you really struggled with percents, you still should be able to see that. But I hope you already can see when something is half, you know, half of the things, then it's 50%. That would be a good thing to just know, y'all. Yeah. All right, so correct answer here is B, 50% because 50% of these offspring in this box here uh, have this capital S, little s um, genotype. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other uh, GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.